Hey guys, this is Binky the Hunter. Uh, for today's video, I'm back at Timbergold Trails, and today I'm hunting the northern part, the mountains. I'm looking for bighorn sheep. So I wanted to explain a little something about the bighorn sheep, and then yeah, hunt some bighorn sheep. <laughs> Here we go. Okay guys, here we're in Timgold, we arrived at my tent, I put up a tent right here, let's see, let's zoom out a little bit, tent here, up here is the area above the line, I, well I can better draw it maybe, let's see. That area above the line I just draw holds the most big horn. She holds big horn sheep and rock ptarmigan. The area down here holds all the other animals on this map, but up here in the mountains you have to be. It looks like a small area, but it's an enormous map. So, um, yeah, let's see. Always take a good rifle here one with your best scope or something that could be nice because you'll be doing a lot of long range shooting I do always take a bow and this is actually quite an easy one for here because it has the built in rangefinder as you can see so sometimes it can go quite fast here when you see an animal and they walk and the area isn't very yeah, there are a lot of hills and rocks in here, so they can disappear fast, so sometimes you have to make fast decisions. So it's nice when you hear an animal, see an animal, you can pick up the bow, range it with the bow and shoot it real fast. So uh, I brought a pistol, because I'm in a competition to shoot a bighorn sheep, the highest scoring one at 100% harvest value, with any handgun, so... Uh, yeah, and I got a shotgun in my backpack because there are ptarmigans up here. Sometimes you find big flocks of ptarmigans, but you can hear them far away with the wing flapping and stuff. But I'll do another video on that. This one is on the bighorn sheep. Uh, I put my ten tent here because of these things here. These tunnels. There are quite some tunnels here. You can use them as fast travel. When you see in the top right and the bottom right of the screen, you see press E, and then you can go through the tunnels. Now we're here, and when I press E, mostly I go down fast because there can be animals in front of you sometimes here. But if you see, we move from here to here now, so this actually is a kind of free fast travel. And the nice thing is, as you can see, right in front of us is the next tunnel and that works the same so and that will that one will take you to about a little there I think or something or yeah I think here I think here is the next train track to here and then there's another tunnel from here to right there but I got something where I'll show this first uh, I made this earlier this is what something I wanted to show you on the left there's an animal spawn map that's just from wiki hunter wiki so but as you can see only up here is where the bighorn sheep spawn these are the bighorns and also the area where the bighorns are, there are the ptarmigans. There's one more area down here where you can find some ptarmigans sometimes. But for the bighorn you have to go to the north, you have to go in the mountains. So, And here on the right is a map for the tunnels I showed earlier. Oh. And yeah, this is where my tent is, where we started. This is the first tunnel I took. Then as you can see there is a small kind of a piece of part of track here 
and this is where we are now in the video and I was looking with the binoculars towards the next tunnel and that's that one and that goes to here you have a longer train track that's about a uh, thousand meters I think and then you can fast travel way to here so also the fastest way to get up here is I think start at this lodge run to here then yeah go to the tunnel that's a free fast travel just press E and you'll be standing right here and from here you can go up in the mountains or here up the mountains or fast travel here and go up the mountains here uh, yeah so back to timber gold trails I can hear some ptarmigans and I can hear something up there but more about that a little bit later These guys actually hunt quite different than most other species. There's no caller for them. They don't call out. They, the rams, they sometimes fight, and you can pick up that sound. But that's the only, yeah, the only call you can ever get from a bighorn sheep. The other thing up here are those guys, the ptarmigans. They do call out sometimes. So, but there's no callers or anything needed for this area up here. Just a good rifle for long range. And a very good headset actually because there is another sound I've been hearing it for all all the time since I got on this side which I use to locate these guys but I was hoping to see one real quick and there's also something with the footsteps of these guys when you hear the footsteps you think just like all other animals they are quite close 40 meters or something 35 meters but with these guys that's not the case you can hear the footsteps yeah 90 meters for sure I think even 100 meters you can hear the footsteps so sometimes you hear the footstep and you think they're close and you keep yeah proning forward and it takes forever to get there and even if they walk away from you, you can't keep up because they roam fast as well. They are fast roamers. I hear the ptarmigans. Uh, first, I made a I made a checklist on the well a checklist. I made a list on things that I think that are important when you're hunting bighorn sheep. So let's go and take a look at that first. And I'll talk you through that. And after that, I'm gonna shoot one of these big horns because I know there are some big horns here. But first, here I show you why. Here is a little list I made for the big horn sheep. First thing you need, I think, is good headset or speakers. I know some of you use speakers, and yeah, say they can hear everything, so that's fine with me. So you need some good volume for this, I think. You have to listen very carefully. So, uh, Second one, no caller and no call. They don't call and there's no caller, except for the fighting rams they do call out. But you can't call them in in any way. So. Then running glassing, yeah that's what I do a lot. I do a lot of running here well at the areas I can because when I get to the top of a mountain first I do is slow down go carefully over it have a good look around and then go on from there so these rams they have very good eyesight but they are almost deaf sometimes you're running and you hear footsteps and on the other side of the hill and they don't even spook so you can take some advantage of that but be careful they got good eyesight and I'm not sure I never used the sand spray here and I don't get the idea they have a very good nose but I'm not sure about that to be honest so uh, the footsteps I told you earlier you can hear them from 90 meters away or something so don't get confused don't think they are close to yeah, too easily you'll, you'll notice especially when they're in sight and you hear the footsteps then range them you'll see they're very far away unlike all other animals in the game so then there is the shizzling sound or the sliding sand sound sound that's how who cares called it in the past so 
that's the sound why you need the good headset. That's I'll go into that a little bit later. Well, when I when we finish this list, I'll show you what I mean. I'll go hunt one with with using that sound. But you have to have a good headset to hear it. But we'll talk about that later. Uh, another good thing on this map is mark your kills. This map can be very confusing when you're running up mountains and when you're making 200 meter shots. Sometimes you get, by the time you're getting up the mountain where your dead animal is or supposed to be, you're so disoriented. Yeah, that you lost it. So just mark it with your rangefinder or something. And if you need a second mark for something, go to the map and click draw and yeah draw a small X on the map, that's what I do sometimes too. Some of you use flags, I know that, but I don't have flags, any of them, so I just draw an X on the map, that works fine for me. And the last thing is also quite important here, take some med kits, because you'll be falling down mountains sometimes when you're, when you have bad luck, so buy some uh, first aid kits. Now let's go back to the game and then I'll explain that sliding sand sound a little more. There's some ptarmigans down here. But when you listen to that sound, when you got your head set up, on my left... Uh, you also hear it on that side, but... You hear a shizzling sound, very faint, you have to listen very well. There's also one on that side, they're on both sides, but a bit confusing. Hoping I could spot one. Let's see. Been hearing one on that side all the time. Here go the ptarmigans. Here they come. <laughs> But I'm here for big one sheep, so... These ptarmigans also can be quite fun when you have a shotgun with you. They kind of have nest when you find the right spot, you can shoot some and... Yeah, they will return when you wait for them, so... I think that's with all the ptarmigans. <coughs> Sorry. But they're actually kind of fun to hunt. And also a good thing about the ptarmigans, I think, is they give you... CSS so gems when they when you shoot them on the ground so unlike the pheasants you have to make air shots not with the ptarmigans only for the competition entries and most missions you'll need airborne shots but it says it in the description so read that well these ptarmigans Ptarmigans can be quite annoying, but also when you get a lot of them, sometimes the, the game will glitch a bit, so... And they're actually kind of making me not hear the shizzling sounds, the shizzling sand sounds at the moment, so... That's, that sound... Uh, I'm looking for you can pick it up from about 200 meters so the one I hear is about in that direction but he will be on the other side of that mountain so kind of is a bad ex example Damn these targets. Wait. I got a shotgun with me I'm gonna shoot one and also when you shoot one I think I'll do a restart later and hope I get one in a better spot. Can I still make that? Now you hear them running. Ah, up there goes one. There goes one. Nice. You can hear the sound they make. You hear that shizzling sand sound very loud now and everywhere. Actually when I turn, yeah, on my left side, on my right side, there's also still one that makes it confusing at the moment, but... Listen for that sound. I know some guys, they have headsets and even if they crank them up, it, they don't hear that sound for some reason. 
and yeah that sucks to be honest <laughs> I would hate it if I didn't hear that sound because that's the main thing I use for hunting these guys uh, actually did I hit the tarm gun that was way too far I think no I never hit him but the shot proved my point <laughs> I saw the big horn I was hearing all the time. And it was just a female or a very tiny male, so nothing interesting. So... Yeah, that's it for this part, I think. I got something recorded earlier. And that I will show you next. I'm tracking a big horn sheep. Yeah, I can tell it, but I'll just show it to you. Here we go. I noticed I forgot to mention one thing about the shizzling sand sound, sliding sand sound. They don't make it everywhere. When they're on flat areas or in the forested areas, they don't make that sound. They only make it on the steep hillside. So that's a bit of a down part. You can't hear them anywhere, everywhere. But yeah, the most of the most of this map are hillsides anyway, the rocky part, so that's where they make this sand sound. But when you start hunting them and you spot them in the distance, you'll see what I mean, I guess. So, but that's something I forgot to mention earlier. Press record. I think we found a very big, big horn sheep. And let's see if I can get him with a pistol, because that's my competition. like a really big one what's the range on this pistol any idea oh uh, no no I don't <clears throat> okay let's take 44 yeah, I think so. Yeah, no, no clue. No there clue. to be any handgun, so then we strutting by the looks of it. That's him trotting, right? Or not? Let's hope I can get this one. Yeah, yeah. Going in the grass now, so I'm trying to go prone towards him. But there's a lot of ptarmigans in the area. And I think there's another big horn right there. Yeah, that's the female dam. But I marked earlier right there. We all need some luck, mate. Can we do this? You can. Just believe, right? Just believe. <laughs> Just crawled right through some ptarmigan shit, so that's a good beginning. <laughs> we'll kill them later, they ruined my alpine <laughs> suit. <laughs> yeah, I'll be over in a minute, take care of them ptarmigan. Yeah. Get that big horn. Yeah, let's see if I can make him count for the competition, right? I could have shot him already with the uh, 7 mil, but... Yeah.
one, I see one, but they have more footsteps, so. some bighorn shit. <laughs> Is it raining up? Is it raining? No. Uh, pouring down down here. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. It'll be up there in a minute. Or yeah, snowing. Man. I guess it snows up there. Uh, I don't want that. Now I lost my bighorn. No. I've lost my bear. Should I follow that sound? I'm gonna look for that sound. This one is really as big as I hope he might be very skittish, so I have to be very careful with the pistol. Yeah. One thing I'm gonna do first is make some backup. I'm gonna switch to the 7mm for if he's yeah, almost getting away or something, something goes wrong, I could still shoot him in a panic shot, right? Uh, yeah. 7mm loaded. And so hard to tell how close these guys are. This one sounds close, but he's still very far away, I think. Probably, yeah. Still sunny up here, mate. Yeah, it turned back sunny here. Being sunny. It's always sunny in timber gold. <laughs> yeah. Footsteps <laughs> are close. Well, I thought that before, but. Is that him? Did I follow the wrong one? I followed the wrong one by the looks of it. What's no, that's him. He looks smaller now. Damn, he turned. He goes away again. I'm following the right one. That's good for good to know. Steps than one. Hope it's the right one. Oh no, yeah. Sounds like one's coming towards me, so. That 
is him. The, um... Oh, he's fighting with another. Um... Oh, Ooh, the other cool. one is the one I want to have, I think. <laughs> oh my god. The other one looks way bigger. Whoa, the other one looks huge. Are you serious, dude? Oh. But it's only up to 195, no way. But that will be the one I'm gonna shoot for sure. If he lets me. It would be so nice to stop somewhere right there. No, he's going over the hill. The small one is up to 210, but that's not the one I spotted earlier. The weight is lower. Damn, there's not a big one out here. Some pretty big, big horns, I think, today, mate. Right. I've had good luck with the bear, but this one's... I've lost its track, man. It, it just stops. different one, damn I was following now. But he had the same score estimate, only the weight was different. Oh, I got him. He dropped. I started walking the moment I shot, but he dropped. Good. Good. Let me mark this one real quick. I hear a lot of them run, so I want to run over the hill and see what's running. <laughs> if I get the chance. Covered, so that's the one I found earlier, so okay. So he was here. That was on a elk. I see it. Yeah. <laughs> he dropped probably. A couple of times on the back. He was moving, yeah, he dropped. And, uh... Whoa! That is a very nice one, mate. 183.7. Oh, big horns. That's a very nice one. Score estimate went only up to 195, but he looked way bigger than the other one, and that one went to 210. But when they were fighting, I saw them from behind, and 
the one that came up from behind was yeah wider than the one I was following, so I knew right away it was bigger. Right, right. All said. Yeah, this is a nice one. Trophy shot that gives me first place in the competition. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, congratulations, dude. Uh, thank you. Nice. If you guys want to see any tutorials or anything specific, want to see me hunt some animals with specific weapons or something, just let me know in the comment section and I'll see what I can do.